So I'm going to quickly show you how to boost jump or jump start a dead cell, lithium ion cell. You can do this with all dead lithium ion and lithium polymer cells. So if I take a look at the cells within this pack, this one's 2.7, this one's 0 0.013, this one's 3.0. So the center pack is dead, and since this uh, balance lead is negative, is on black, positive cells on white, then the next. The third center cell is negative on white, positive on yellow. Then the next third one is negative on yellow, positive on red. So if you take this uh, JST connector, you can just pull these in and out. So push it in if you need to move it over one cell, but right now it's the center one, so I'll keep it on there. Plug that in, and so you can see the black one is on the white, which is negative for the center cell, and red is on yellow. If you take your balance charger and set it to nickel metal hydride, it's going to force a charge into it. It won't check the cell to make sure that it's actually a lithium ion cell. So go ahead and start that up. And make sure you only put 0.1 or 0.2 amps into it because if you use any more, it could uh, overheat the cell. So keep an eye on it. Don't uh, walk away because if this cell is actually a dead short within it, then even 0.1 amps might start a fire after a certain number of hours. So you don't want to do that. Okay, so now just leave it on there. Once it gets up to around 3 volts, you can go ahead and switch it over to lithium ion and start charging it from that there on Ford. So that's how you jump start a dead lithium ion or dead lithium polymer cell using a balanced charger. Thanks for watching and I hope that helps.